slash great neighbors and tell us just how special they are. To greet deodorant and NBA star Kevin Durant recently teamed up to donate $1 million to just 10 organizations across the country. And one New Orleans-based group, Dancing Grounds, is getting one of those donations. Shanice Holmes joins us this morning from Dancing Grounds to tell us about their mission and how this donation will keep their doors open. Hi, Shanice. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Dancing Grounds for people out there who maybe haven't heard of it before. Yes, Dancing Grounds' mission is driven um, by the community. They're um, a nonprofit organization and really specializing in um, dance classes, um, but also learning how not to just move into a community and take over, but how can what can we do? How can we work with the community to serve the community, do what they need? They have a strong foundation in social justice um, values and um, racial justice, um, collaboration, artists matter. And so I just, I'm really grateful to work with Dancing Grounds. How old are the kids that are participating in Dancing Grounds? Oh, man. So it varies. We have the itsy bitsy babies down to like five years old um, till teenagers about to leave to go to college. Wow. So you get this huge donation from Degree Deodorant and Kevin Durant. Can you tell us how that money is going to help to really improve the services of Dancing Grounds? Oh, yes. Um, I'm excited because I'm wearing Dance for Social Change, the shirt right now. I'm the artistic director as well as the co-coordinator um, for the program. It's a teen-based program. Um, and these kids meet every Saturday, three hours long. Um, and they're really diving into social justice, social issues in their community. What will make a change in their community? How can they bring um, a different perspective and shift what may not be working? Um, and I think that is a current, um, I think that speaks to the now, but it's been an ongoing thing that they've been diving into. It's a year long program. And just before, um, you know, COVID-19 happened, they were preparing to show their final um, performance mm -hmm. and they chose gentrification this year. Gentrification, while it may seem like it's not related to what is happening right now, I feel um, that it goes full circle for me with um, all of the justice that is being asked to be pushed to the forefront. Um, but yes, gentrification is one of the effects of racial inequality. Well, and as you mentioned, it's, yes. it's so timely that the kids were kind of researching this and how they could help their community before, you know, all of this happened with George Floyd's death, Breonna Taylor. Um, and now it really is so timely that this is happening. Yeah, um, I just think that we're in alignment and we work with um, just uh, insight to keep the kids in this mindset of like, they can be the change agents. We talk a lot about how kids are the next generation. I feel that they have a lot to say now. Um, they are have so much embedded in them now mm -hmm. um, and you see it in their conversations, in their movement, in the way that they show up in their voice. Um, because we have a variety of um, artists in the room. Yeah. You mentioned, Shanice, that video that the kids made right before COVID hit. Where can people watch that video? Yeah, if you go to dancinggrounds.org, you will see it be the first video that pops up. And you can watch this year's video, Solastalgia. And you can also watch the teaser, which is right underneath it. Um, or get lost in our YouTube page. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Shanice Holmes, thank you for your time this morning. And again, congratulations on getting this, this grant. Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. All right, time now is 817. Here's Shelby Latino with your...